Good evening, Tessitore community! Welcome to TN Inspire! When we think about opera, we don't immediately think about prison. Well, I guess that depends on what you think about opera. <laughs> My passion lies in making opera accessible to all, whether that's two-month-old university st students, low-income seniors, or incarcerated populations which led me to a partnership with San Quentin State Prison uh, through Stephen Harris, the CEO. San Quentin State Prison was opened in July 1852 and is California's oldest state prison. Now, I don't want to give the impression that I support the prison industrial system. I do not. But San Quentin has a long history of music. Uh, Johnny Cash, B.B. King, Metallica have all performed there. So it was high time that San Francisco Opera performed the very first classical music concert there in November of 2017. Now, I did a quick Google search of opera memes, and here's what came up. This is what opera is for most people, and I don't even disagree with some of these. <laughs> At first glance, opera seems like the farthest reach for incarcerated populations, but opera stories are the most human, basic experiences. Opera stories can touch all and be a jumping off point for contemplating life choices and assessing outcomes. Uh, my colleague in the artistic department and I, Sean Waugh, toured the facility and we immediately began to think about how we could bring opera into those walls, how we could bring the stories of opera to those people that opera is about people who are down on their luck, betrayed by their friends and family, left by their loves, and forced to live with the outcomes of their consequences and choices. So how did we do that? We began to work with artists, and not just any artists, we worked with all artists of color. This was very important to us because we wanted to break down that perception that opera was only for one type of person. No! Opera is for all, by all, and about all. So we worked with the artists to choose pieces that were thoughtful to the audience that we'd be presenting to. We chose pieces that were familiar and accessible, um, pieces that included a duet from Porgy and Bess, sung by Kirsten Piper Brown and Kenneth Overton. Pieces such as Simone Bocanegra, sung by Solomon Howard, about a father whose child was ripped from his arms. And of course, the opera hits, a piece by Andrea Lett who sang the Queen of the Night from Mozart's The Magic Flute. The moment we entered the premises, the excitement was palpable. Most of these inmates had never heard opera, let alone live opera. But I never doubted for a second that the opera would be exhilarating for those incarcerated individuals. When the performances were over, a Q&A began with the inmates, and they asked questions along the lines of, how did you make that sound? How did you forge a path and a career in the arts? How can I take this experience back into my daily life? Once the performance was over, an impromptu meet and greet began. A line formed all the way around the chapel that we were performing in so that each incarcerated individual could individually thank and talk to the uh, artists and explain to them how meaningful that experience had been. It was overwhelming for the artists. I even heard one of the inmates exclaim that he was going to take his family to the opera the moment he was released. That's incredible. The experience has continued to positively reverberate throughout our community. The artists themselves post about it all the time and talk about how this day changed their lives forever. And I hope that it changed the lives of the inmates as well. So when we think about the arts, you know, those video montages of all of our organizations, they're so inspiring. And I encourage us to think about how we welcome people to our arts and cultural organizations, but I also encourage us to think about how we can invite people who cannot come to our organizations, who we can only travel to. When we think about serving all, let's not forget those who are in an incarcerated population who are desiring of and needing the arts just as much as everyone else who comes and joins our organizations. So what's next? 
We'll be doing more concerts at San Quentin State Prison to come, and I encourage each of you to think about how you can reach into those incarcerated populations in your community and bring what you do out of your walls and into those places. Thank you.